Okay, we're back with round two of the third week of Spring Smash Down. This is NES Classic Peripherals. We've got Duck Hunt versus Rob. Let's get it going. So I don't have the Duck Hunt stage. I don't really know what stage Rob belongs in. So what we're going to do is just pick a random Omega stage here. Uh, that's what we did for the first match. Uh, if you're just tuning in, go back and watch that one. It was a very close match, but in the end, Rob took it home. Let's see if he wins two in a row, or if this is going all the way to the best two out of three. Let's start it right now. All right. Duckhunt seems to be going a little bit more with his distance game in this one, uh, at least off the start, but now they're going straight into it. Uh, that's kind of when we were talking on the show, uh, and if you haven't listened to the show, go back and listen to it uh, for this week, and you know, go back and watch the, the other weeks of Spring Smashdown. There's been some great matches so far. Now in week three, you know, I'm starting to notice a couple of things about these computer players. One of them is that uh, they really like getting up in each other's faces, especially at the higher levels. And uh, and just kind of going at each other like that, and doing a lot of grabs and that kind of thing. Um, it's it's a really close game, and I, I find when I play Duck Hunt anyway, uh, especially off the start, I like to play the distance game. So it's it's interesting to see. You know, this Duck Hunt seems to miss a lot of those cans, although he hit that one pretty good. Um, It's, uh, it is it is close though that they're, they're keeping it close. Uh, Rob was able to squeeze out that last win, very very you know very tight win, and that up attack is just brutal. Uh, and that's one thing I said in this one. Rob has the more powerful attacks, and if Duck Hunt starts to get up in his face, I don't think he's going to take it. So let's see if uh, last time the first kill. <laughs> Whoa, that was a great recovery. Almost a, uh, a down ledge <laughs> pound there. That was, that was a really close grab. There we go. Got some good explosions, but uh, still hasn't gotten them out. 8% damage though, not too bad if he can stick down that low without getting up. I think that's kind of what hurt him last time in the end there, but uh, man, these grabs back and forth and the dodges, it's really, really close game. This is cool to watch. Whoa, can't believe he didn't go off the screen there, that had to be... Super close. He tries again with a grab, but uh, 204 damage. I think that's the most damage we've seen. 211 and he's off, but I think that's the most damage we've seen so far in Spring Smashdown. Uh, man, 47% damage for Duck Hunt, though. 0% for Rob. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good for my boy. Robots, I guess, stronger than dogs. You know, man's best friend versus man's future enemy or future friend depending on which way you want to go with that uh, whoa great block by duck hunt there though that, that you know I've said it before and I'll say it again Rob's moves are just powerful you don't want to get caught in them and duck hunt seems to be getting caught a lot but sometimes he dodges out of the way but when Rob grabs you you just better start praying Perfect opportunity there for Duck Hunt to try some kind of an air move or uh, an up attack. But didn't take advantage of it. This is the time when you don't want to use distance. There goes Duck Hunt again. So uh, the one stock, unless he gets him here, I'm not really sure if, uh, if this is going to be a catch up or not. Or we might see a repeat performance of last time. There we go. This is the kind of stuff you want to be doing, Duck Hunt. Back, see what happens. 
whoa! Both got back up. Didn't expect them both to come out of that one. Would have been an upset for uh, for Duck Hunt to get thrown out from that low, though. That's well, one thing with Rob I find you can see a lot of his moves power up as you notice with that down attack. He kind of leaned back first and Duck Hunt was able to dodge out of the way. There and he evens it up. 7% damage on Duck Hunt, 0% going into the final bit for the first round of week 3 Spring Smash Down. Very, very cool. Don't let him charge that up. Here's what we're saying, but you know, this, this is the same kind of thing that happened, uh, you know, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the first round, this is the same kind of thing that I find happened to Mario. Uh, he just wasn't strong enough. He kind of, he was always playing catch up to Link, and it seems like Duck Hunt's the same kind of situation here. Uh, just seems to be constantly playing catch up, and it's a little bit too, too little too late. You know, uh, he seems to be on the defensive most of the time. Uh, and I don't think his moves are strong enough. Uh, Rob's just bringing the power, but he's also got a decent amount of speed. Duck Hunt seems to be bringing some heat right now, but, uh, you know, throwing out all the moves, trying to keep some distance between them. This is the game I kind of thought Duck Hunt would be playing from the start, but Rob's coming straight in for him and uh, not letting him do any of that shenanigans. Bouncing some lasers off the ground, doing the suplex slam. And that's the game. Rob takes it in two. Sorry, folks. If you're anything like me and you love Duck Hunt, that's a hard loss to take. Um, man, I'm disappointed. I, we kind of called that on the show. We kind of said Rob might be a little bit too powerful. And we thought in a real-world battle, a uh, crazy killer robot would probably win over a cute little dog and a duck. But uh, there you see it. There you have it. Rob's moving on to the next round. We'll be back the next round of Spring Smashdown Week 3 is going to be Speed Demons, Sonic the Hedgehog versus Captain Falcon. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with that match.